How's it going everyone, Boros I'm here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Store City and Tool which is a new Windows app that runs only on 64-bit systems and 32-bit uh, systems are not supported yet. So uh, this app will allow you to install apps and games packages to your PS4 without needing the remote package installer. So what this app does is that uh, it hosts all of your PS4 packages straight to the PlayStation 4 Homebrew Store and it allows you to download those packages and install them. So all of your PS4 packages that you have on your PC can be hosted to the Homebrew Store as if it was like, a, you know, a game store. So without further ado, let's get into this, see how this works and how to use this. So the first thing that you have to do is obviously download the Store CDN tool itself. So go ahead and download it. Once you're done, you need to download those three files in here, which are the uh, updates for the Homebrew Store. So download all three of them. And now you should have four files. Now let's go back to the GitHub page of the CDN tool. You can see down here that it's giving instructions to create an update folder inside the uh, CDN tool folder. You can also download the Homebrew Store itself by clicking on the package here this link and it will uh, start downloading right away. So now you have all the prerequisites. Let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna extract the uh, CDN tool. So right click on it and select extract to uh, its name. Now it has been extracted, just delete this. We don't need it anymore. Now we need to create a folder in here inside the store CDN tool folder and we're gonna call it update. And after that, we're gonna open it and copy those three files to it. Remote, Homebrew, and Homebrew. So select Remote, Homebrew, and Homebrew and copy those three files to the update folder that we just created. Now we're done uh, copying files, so close this. Uh, we don't need this anymore. Now we need to go and run the CDN tool itself. So double click on Store CDN Server. And now we're gonna select our PCIP address by clicking on this uh, little arrow here. If you have more than one network adapter, you're gonna have more than one IP address, but you should make sure that you select the IP address of your ethernet cable. Don't select the IP address of your Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is slower and less stable. So make sure that you select the IP address of your ethernet cable. So select the, the IP address of the PC, click on save, and now we're going to select the uh, directory or folder that has the PS4 games packages in it. So let's navigate to that folder. For me, it's in here. It's called PS4, so select it and click OK. Now, this step is very important. I, sometimes I forget it. Make sure that you click on Add Packages. OK, so click on Add Packages and you should see a green progression uh, line down here. Don't click on the app while it's moving or it's gonna freeze, okay? As you can see down here, it has found 122 packages, which is a mix of games and updates and uh, other tools. Now click on Start Web Server and you should see this running uh, green text here. It means it's running. Now let's move on to the PS4. You should install the uh, Homebrew Store and then launch it. Click OK when you see this message. It will quickly download and cache website files. And now you will see the uh, default games and apps of the Homebrew Store. Those are the games and apps that will be uh, replaced and changed with your own uh, PS4 packages that you have on your PC. So to do that, let's scroll to uh, settings, scroll down to settings, click on it and click on content delivery network delete everything till you get to the slash forward and then type the ip address of your pc okay once you're done press r2 on the controller and it will be saved now let's go to the ini uh, path so this is the ini file path we're going to change it to the uh, usb drive why we change it to a USB drive? Because when you plug in 
the USB drive, those settings uh, will be used on the uh, Homebrew Store and therefore you will see your uh, PS4 games and apps that you have on your PC on the main uh, store page of the Homebrew Store. If you remove the USB drive, uh, you will see the default games and apps of the Homebrew Store. If you don't care about uh, the INI file, the default INI file being changed, you could just use the default uh, location and then you can navigate to it by using the PS4 Explorer application from Lappy and delete the uh, settings.ini uh, from there or you can just use FTP to uh, delete this uh, settings file and the uh, homebrew store will you know revert back to its original state which is the uh, default games and apps on the uh, main store page so if you have a usb drive it's best to uh, use it by just setting the path to mnt slash usb zero slash and then settings ini and don't forget to scroll down and hit save settings so your settings uh, get saved when you get this message of course you just press ok and now we have to restart the homebrew store app by either pressing the options button on the controller or just the old uh, fashioned way pressing the ps button and then closing the app from the uh, you know the home screen once the app is closed we have to launch it again and we should see that the changes have taken effect and as you can see the storefront has changed and now i can see all of my games that I have on that folder are uh, here. You can just you know, navigate through them. The thing about this is that when you move on to the uh, next page, the uh, Homebrew Store app will download the uh, thumbnails of the games. So give it a second. All right, it's done. Now you just install the game by uh, pressing the uh, X button on the controller and then clicking on download. And then wait for the uh, game to finish downloading. Once it's done, we click on install. And the game will start uh, installing. Alright, it's done. Click OK. And now we're going to go to the home screen to see uh, if the game is there on the dashboard or no. So here it is. Spelunky 2, uh, let's check the info, it should be 1.00, yep. I can also install the update, so uh, yeah, this is how it works, this is how to use the uh, CDN tool to install games uh, on the PS4 without using the remote package installer. There's also uh, another PlayStation 4 app that does exactly the same thing that we just did with the Homebrew Store and this CDN tool, which is for PC. For me, it's not working, but I'm just going to show you uh, how, how to use it so you can try it out, see if it works for you. So, a uh, couple of weeks ago, developer Jimenez released the 4PT repository GUI uh, maker so this is a repository maker that will help you create a repository for the playstation 4 application called 4pt so double click on the 4pt repository creator you can select a single package or you can select a folder that has uh, many packages in it but make sure that you don't select too many packages last time i used this i select i selected a one terabyte big file that has uh PS4 games in it and the app just crashed so make sure that you don't select a huge folder so for me uh, now I'm just going to select uh, just a package file just two packages only for the purpose of demonstration as I said this did not work for me for some reason I still couldn't figure this out so I'm just going to select two packages this does exactly the same thing as the homebrew store so I'm going to select two packages and the great thing about this is that we can select uh, and set if this is a game or if it's an update. So this one right here is 1.00, so it's the full game. This is the base game. And the other one is the update uh, 1.01, so I'm going to set it to 
update okay now you're gonna give your repository a name by typing literally anything in here and finally hit start server and you should see the IP address of your uh, PC automatically detected here. You can also select a repository icon. There are those default icons, but you can like set up a custom uh, icon. So I'm just gonna select a custom icon that I just downloaded from the internet, select it and hit open. Now you have a repository icon. Now we run the 4PT PlayStation uh, 4 application press the R1 button on the controller so we can go to the repositories list. Now we can see here the uh, default repository from the developer. We click on the uh, press, not click, we press the triangle button on the controller to uh, show up the keyboard and then type the uh, IP address of our PC, of the server that we created on PC and hit R2. For me, it's not going to work, so I'm going to get this error message every time, even if I just remove the S from HTTP and type the IP address, even without HTTP, it's not going to work no matter what. So uh, if it works for you, you're going to see your games like you see in here. Okay, so you're going to see all the PS4 packages that you have on your PC, you're going to see them like you, you're seeing those uh, games and apps in here. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like. If somehow you succeed to make it work, if you manage to make it work, you're gonna see your games in here. To install uh, a game or an app, press the X button on the controller to install it. So I'm gonna select uh, a small app to install it just for demonstration. Let's find a small one. Oh, here, here it is, Sonic, Sonic Remake, uh, yeah, just press the X button one time and it will start downloading. Uh, you can see those two uh, little icons there, you can delete the package after you install it. So you can just see that little trash can, you can delete the package after you install it. So you hit this little arrow to install and you hit that trash can to uh, delete the package. So let me just uh, take a look at this. Okay, it has been installed. Let's check it out. <clears throat> All right, it's running. So now you can just go back to the 4PT app and delete the package. So uh, feel free to give it a shot. Let me know if it works for you. So that's all for now. That's all for this uh, tutorial. Take care and I'll see you soon.